Creating a drawing boundary. Traditionally, sheet creation and layout have been a very manual and time-consuming process. To overcome this, the drawing boundary feature is provided to allow you to quickly and easily define the location of a drawing on a sheet, which may contain a drawing. A sheet may be subdivided into several drawing boundaries. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will move a reference. Predefine an area in an existing sheet model for placement of a name boundary. Place a name boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. Continue in the Site Plan Details DGN file. Before you place more details, you will first move the detail that was referenced to the center of the sheet initially. With the Element Section tool active, Let's hover the cursor over the manhole frame and cover. Right press and hold, and then from the contextual menu, we're going to select Move Reference. Enter a data point from which to move from. Place this into the first section of the sheet with a data point in the upper leftmost section. Next, let's open the level display. Then let's turn off the following level. Sheet Lines V2. Turning this level off graphically provides a larger section in which to place a detail. Set the active level to Drawing Boundaries via the Level Picker if it is not already. Now, along the ribbon from the Detailing Ribbon group of the Annotate tab, select Drawing Boundary. Coming into the Tool Settings window, Set the following options. Detailing symbol style, default, no anno. In the name field, type in detail-2. Detail for the drawing type. The detail scale set to full size, one to one. And for the method, by two points. Now, we're going to be placing a drawing boundary. So bringing the cursor into the view now, Define the first corner of the drawing boundary. This will be the upper left corner of the second section, directly to the right of where the first detail is currently located. Snap to the intersecting lines and issue a data point. Now, define the second corner of the drawing boundary by snapping to the intersecting lines in the lower right of this same section. Then, Place the detail symbol by issuing a data point in the middle of this section along the bottom. You have now designated a specific area on this sheet that can be populated in the future by a named boundary. Notice, as part of the third step in creating the drawing boundary, that the detailing symbol is not visible. This is due to a setting or option of the detailing symbol style used, which in this case hides the symbol. Next, you will now place three additional drawing boundaries into the remaining open sections. With the Place Drawing Boundary by Two Points tool still active, take note in the tool settings window that the name has automatically incremented to Detail-3. Following the previous steps, we're going to be placing the drawing boundaries into each of the remaining open sections by first snapping to the upper left, then to the lower right, and then by placing the symbol in the bottom center. This detail sheet is a good example of having pre-existing drawing boundaries. Another example might be a plan profile sheet with drawing boundaries. For instance, divided into two halves, where the upper half would contain the plan and the lower half would contain the profile. Hint. These drawing boundaries were placed into this active DGN file, and you will populate these in our next exercise. However, it is more important to note that it is more advantageous to create drawing boundaries in your seed files and or design libraries. That is, of course, dependent on your company's or organization's setup. That way, when you create new sheets based upon your seed selection, 
the drawing boundaries are standardized and are already present in the newly created sheets. Go ahead now and fit the view and then save settings. During this lesson, you learn to move a reference, predefine an area in an existing sheet model for placement of a name boundary, place a name boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.